Okay, doing another comic video, Weird Comics. Not exactly sure why. I don't really get many views on the comic videos, but I do feel compelled to do them. And this is a weird comic, uh, because it's an out-of-the-way comic. It's not... It's basically a promotional item for a toy. And I found it in the toy aisle in a plastic bag, and I bought a few of them uh, to collect Final Faction First Impact. Issue number one, I don't suppose there was ever an issue number two, although I'm not certain about that. Let's see if we can get... Uh, hopefully that's going to come across clearly without... The focusing is always an issue here because everything has to be held at kind of a mid-level and the lighting has to be right. Anyway, Final Faction First Impact. Not actually bad, but you see there are the toys that this comic is based on. Steel and Ruck and uh, they're action figures. The story itself is fairly interesting. Uh, this, well, it's got a nice setup. Uh, the artwork's a little spotty, a little stiff in places. This is a character called Steadfast. He's barbecuing, obviously, because he's a big, uh, hulking, all-American brute. And his dog, little cartoonish dog, there is Churro. And then a meteorite hits the moon and it explodes. And then... We have go to a temple in East Asia where a woman is meditating. She's a superheroine. Uh, trying to not get, trying to get a better, yeah, there we go. Uh, then there's the jets are scrambled uh, from an African base because the moon has exploded, revealing the Karn, K-H-A-R-N, mothership. Uh, hidden below the moon, which is actually what the moon is, and it awakens this guy, Diabol, who's kind of a demonic, red-eyed, lizard-like guy. And Diabol asks his queen, Queen Malara, if it is time to unleash their invasion force, and apparently it is. Their invasion force made up of synthoid, sort of biomechanical robots, and... Uh, what's called crawlers, and there's Steadfast fighting one of them, uh, what are called the crawlers, which are like uh, spider-like things with uh, and uh, razor legs or razor-sharp legs. As you can see, the artwork is a little stiff, it's a little spotty, but for the Karn, it's pretty cool, actually. And we have the superheroes that around the world uh, the one that was in Asia is named Shift. And then there's Amari, who's got a mohawk. He looks like she's from from the streets of New York City. Scope, which is sort of your typical mercenary type dude. Uh, what else? Kind of a weird, a couple of weird ones. Here's one that looks like an old fisherman. And he is called, what is that? Riptide. Ruck, who tells bad jokes. Hey, E.T. phone home and tell your mommy ship to pick you up. Get it? Mommy ship. Mother ship. I'm not sure that's a terrible joke. But anyway, they fight the alien invaders. And what happened is uh, the mother ship crashed in, or something billions of years ago and became the moon. Uh, and then the meteorite broke it free, and now the Karn and their synthoids and crawlers are invading. Um, Steadfast lost his arm and gets a cybernetic uh, robot-enhanced uh, cybernetic arm. Um, let's see, we go to a super-secret base run by this uh, genius doctor. Uh, he's Sergeant Steadfast. And then she's been working on a robot that dances. Pretty cartoony, Saturday morning cartoon type stuff. And they have one of the mechs in their custody or possession. There's a robot dog that the cartoon dog, Churro, can be inside. And it has blade-like wings. 
So they put together the Strike Force, the superhero team, the final faction, and they're going to. Uh, here he's telling another bad joke again, this ruck guy. Just one. Uh, the answer to the question How many soldiers does it take to stop an alien attack? Just one with a sneeze. Get it? What? You've never seen War of the Worlds? So anyway, they all get together, and Sergeant Steadfast is the leader of the final faction, uh, Alpha Team, I believe they're called. And um, there's some drama already because the the doctor's uh, the doctor's son or somebody is a real rebel renegade, and she wants him to be a part of Alpha Team to save the humanity from the Karn. Anyway, uh, so there's our subplot subplot theme. So they go out in these fancy attack helicopters with blades for wings and things. And then they go out to the desert where the Karn, and there they are again, the Karn are landing. And they do superhero hijinks aplenty. Uh, superhero action figure, uh, sci-fi combat battle, straight B-movie stuff. G.I. Joe meets Transformers. But, and again, the artwork, as you can see, it's a little bit dodgy. It's a little bit dodgy, but it, it, in some places it's kind of cool. Uh, the pages are slick. Uh, it's not too bad. It's passable. And the Karn, oh, there we go again with the with the problems, with the focusing. Uh, the Karn are pretty interesting to look at, as far as I'm concerned. They're sort of like bug-like, lizard-like, bug-like mutant, uh, with big claws, big sort of uh, battlefield earth cyclo, uh, giant things, giant thing going straight from... Uh, Straight from hell. Anyway, the uh, final faction have won. That one looks like she's an escapee from a 1980s G.I. Joe cartoon. The one in front that was in the temple before. Uh, anyway, they won the first battle, but uh, Sergeant Steadfast tells his troops, You heard him. They'll be back again and again. But the G.I. Joe refugee, she says... And we'll be ready for them every time. And then he says, Earth's not going down without a fight. End of issue number one to be continued. Okay. Uh, I don't believe there was ever an issue number two. I believe this is, uh, this may be a fake comic series uh, designed just to sell an action figure. But the curious thing is in the toy department, well, such as it is in the dollar store, uh, I didn't see any of the action figures. I just saw this comic in a pay lap in a plastic bag, uh, and uh, was intrigued by it. Uh, finding the name of the creators is not finding the names of the artists and creators is not easy. Here, uh, I was looked. Uh, I looked, and uh, it wasn't. It's not really apparent who did the artwork, who wrote this, lettering, coloring. Um, don't. Is it in the... Oh, wait, there it goes, right there. Script writer is Toby Osborne. Pencils by Chris Marinan. Inking assist Louis Rivera. Mimi Simon Colorist Letters. John Hebink and Mike... Manly, oh, and we have, uh, this is the back page, Final Faction Issue 2. I wish I could find that. It's got an impressive looking Karn on the back. I'm going to try to draw that sucker. Uh, deep in the rainforests of Costa Rica. All right, well, there is a, a page of spoof ads, too, that's kind of interesting, uh, why they should include that. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, what age group they're going after that would appreciate such things, but they're almost like the Johnson Smith... Uh, or the ads you used to see in the back of old comics in the 60s and 70s is Professor Bizarro with his disappearing potion. One drop and you vanish into thin air. Imagine the possibilities of invisibility. Order today, disappear tomorrow. Unlock your inner guru. Come on, come on. 
Be at one with the universe and tap into your mental powers. Move objects with your mind. Read people's thoughts and see the future. Anything is possible when you open your third eye and unleash your inner guru. You won't believe your eye. Thirteen secrets inside. Unlock your inner guru. And they also have Final Facts and Cola. After a hard day of crushing, thirsty after a day of crushing Karn, refresh your team with Final Faction Cola. Sergeant Steadfast Cookies com Cookie Company. With Churro there beside him. Okay, so that's kind of funny. Live your life. Uh, oh, laughter in a can. Are your jokes terrible? Do people groan instead of laugh? We have the solution. You need canned laughter. Whenever your corny jokes fall flat, just pop open a jar of laughter and get the right reception for your funnies, no matter how funny they are. Go from wah-wah to ha-ha. Live your life without fear. Don't be scared of the unknown with bravery, instant bravery, Ten, 20 scoops. In every box, 20 scoopfuls of the brave stuff for when you need nerves of steel. Our patented formula helps you stand up to trouble, stare down problems, and stomp out terror. Satisfaction guaranteed. Okay, that is a little junk, a little bit of junk comic there. Uh, I, I Well, I mean, it's a... It's uh, it's basically just a promotional item. It's uh, not a serious series, uh, and I'm again. I don't know if number two was ever. If this is February twenty twenty two, when this was created, did they ever do a second issue? I like to get my hands on it just for the heck of it. Uh, but I have got a couple of these that I'm collecting for my collection of 850 billion comics that I have. So we put that down in the slip case and we've, uh, we've covered that one satisfactorily, we think. So uh, thank you very much and you have a good morning. Bye-bye.